Hello friends. Let's continue uh, from where we left off in the previous video. So in the previous video, we were talking about backups and we did learn about commands such as uh, zzip, gunzip and uh, tar to create archives or multiple files and directories. Now, uh, so those, those tools are for taking backups. Now, uh, another important part of backup is uh, to securely transfer that backup to some other uh, hard disk or partition or remote server. So in this uh, session, we are going to learn about uh, transferring files to other server. So I have this server, uh, this web server. This is also my backup server. So let's create a directory here name backup. It does not already exist. and it has nothing here but we'll start taking backups uh, on our database server here and then transfer those backups to our remote server that uh, web server so what all things i want to backup so i have already decided that i want to take a backup of all the logs so let's create an archive of it so cd slash where we have the directory log here so use the tar command and use the verbose mod, use the z for zz uh, compression and use the c option to create and f to give a name. So log dot tar dot zz. As we have already seen in the another video that uh, we have to specify the file name with the extensions we want. So these extensions tell us what it is all about in linux it makes no sense it makes sense to us only and what we want to backup so this directory we want to backup so I specify it as you can see the operation is completed now this is the file we have you can compare quickly that the original do uh, log directory as uh, the size 20 mb so it is 20 mb large but our compressed archive is just 1.7 MB large, uh, under 2 MB only. Now we can transfer it. So we are going to learn two things here or two commands. One is SCP and another is rsync. But in this video, I'll cover only the SCP. Uh, the difference we can see uh, that uh, uh, SCP is simple copy. S does not stand for simple, but it is, uh, uh, we can say that uh, it uses SSS as the backend. And uh, rsync is a remote sync, so it has lots of options available. And uh, it also transfers the delta or the differences or the changes or the updates only, rather than copying the entire file over and again. So SCP has some limitations uh, if you compare it uh, with the rsync command. So let's uh, see some examples. So V for verbose mode, V for preserving timestamps. You know what timestamp is, for example, this is the timestamp. When this file was or directory was updated or created, etc. This is called timestamp and uh, common attributes, permission attributes, which you change with the ch mode command or change and modification command. We want to preserve them. So we want to transfer this. So this is your source part. And this is your, uh, you can remove those options if you don't want. Let's remove them. So SCP and source and destination. So destination is the remote server. So let's see what is the IP of that server. Now you need to specify where you want to keep them. I want to keep the backups here in the backup directory. Password. So what password I am required to enter here? The password to authenticate that uh, I'm trying to do something. And uh, password I need for the root user on this machine because I'm logged in as root. Okay, I try again. 
okay fine so you see this uh, file has been 100% transferred and uh, this is the size and this is the speed we got and almost uh, not noticeable time it's so let's see here sorry CD So we have successfully transferred the file. Our original archive file is still present here, which we can now remove if we don't need it. That's it. Another example. I want to transfer a directory. Okay, we can do that. For example, this triple uh, W, it has my website related data and files my CGI bin or my PHP my poly scripts etc and my HTML documents here so I want to copy so as I have shown you already you can make an archive first and then transfer or you can transfer the entire directory also so use SCP now with the CP command we use hyphen R for recursive transmission or copy so we use R here also and triple uh, W is the directory and IP of this server or host and we specify the destination directory complete now let's see what happens we have to enter the password you see progress for every item we don't see uh, details in much uh, in the debug mode because we did not specify hyphen V option but uh, we can do that if we want to so you see the progress there now let's come here and see what all we have got we have the directory here and files are being copied transmitted So we have done it now. Let's verify here. We have the directory here. Okay, so our directories, subdirectories, and files are present. We can also verify. Uh, something like this we do find triple W pipe and uh, use WC to count the lines how many lines we have so find command will list each directory and file line by line so 4381 items we have here let's verify here also 4381 so you have copied all the items successfully this is how you can verify also there are other ways now let's uh, by mistake anything happen so now my logs are gone and I don't have any backup here I don't have any archive also so what I can do is I can copy my uh, logs from here because we have the logs already copied here this is the file and we need to specify the IP of this server so let's do it this is the IP so you specify that uh, this is the source now pwd backup slash that double slash will not cause any problem I can remove it though and the file you know if you want to transfer directly you need to use hyphen R here in case of this file we don't need it now destination dot means my current directory password 
transmission is done you have your archived file here use appntf to see what contents are there so we have all the logs here now we can this time instead of appntf we can use extract command and because it's a, a compressed file so we use uh, z so we can use z here dot extension dot gz tell me that i used gzip uh, uh, as the implied thing here now now what happens i have my log directory here back that's it guys bye bye